Sayyad, am I audible? Live. Hello, my dear kids. Very good evening. This is Sundar Rabindranathan here. Hey guys, welcome to the session part two of Major Domains of the Earth. So I hope you enjoyed the first first part today, uh, which we took yesterday, and today is going to be the second part, part two, right? Okay, let me see who are all here. <clears throat> Hi, Nishika. Code with Harry. Yeah, Samida. Yesterday you told me. Awesome. Nidhi Rajput. Kumaran. Yeah. Kumaran or Kuruman. Yeah, there is a cyclone. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Mohit. Hi. Hello everyone of you guys, so welcome to this session. So we will go ahead with the part 2 of major domains of the earth. Before that, a quick word about Young Wonders in case you don't know. This channel is for 6 to 8 students. We have academic offerings and non-academic offerings as well. Academically, you will see sessions happening Monday to Saturday. Math, Science, Social and English Grammar. For all the 3 grades, every day you will have sessions. 6th, 7th and 8th. Okay. And on the other side, you will see that uh, non-academically we have IPL series, we have uh, a series on space, we have a series on Vedic math, we have a series on IMO, lot of interesting stuff guys. Don't miss the action, subscribe to the channel. And yes, in case you feel that you know wow these teachers are very good, I want to learn from them, these kind of teachers, please you know if that is what you are looking at and you want unlimited doubts to be solved, beautiful notes, you want periodical tests and assignments, guidance for competitive exams and so on. Guys, do not worry, there is a link given in the description box. Alright, there is a link given in the description. Go to that link and uh, all you have to do is, once you go there, click on which grade you belong to. Right? And click on get subscription. <coughs> If you want to try it out, choose one month and if you are pretty confident about us, go ahead for three or six months time. And to give you a discount, to give you that privilege because you are watching this, you can use my coupon code SRPRO. <coughs> okay? SRPRO. And there you are, you will be connected with us, the best master teachers of Vedantu and what we will teach will be in sync with your curriculum. Alright, okay, now what is in store? Guys, I'm going to start Major Domains of the Earth Part 2. Give me a yo if you guys are all there. Your mind is set. Come on. Hi, Slok. Menti will be there, beta. What question? Don't worry about it. <coughs> Ajay, James Pond Ajay. Ajay 007. Risha, many more happy returns of the day, Risha. May God bless you. Awesome. Let's move on. Today we are continuing with confidence. You know the what we do yesterday we dealt with Africa, right? The continents. We are continuing with the continents today. We will deal with continents. We will also understand what is hydrosphere because we dealt only with lithosphere, and we will see under hydrosphere a little about oceans. What different types of oceans and uh, something about them, features of them as well. Ready? Okay. So let us start. So guys, about North America, third largest continent in the world. And it is linked to South America by a very, very narrow strip and that is called the Isthmus of Panama. What is it called? Isthmus of Panama is a stern strip of land separating North America and South America. Okay. So it is, if you look at it, positionally it is in the northern and western hemisphere. It is positioned like that. 
and three oceans are surrounding North America. Cool. <clears throat> Similarly, South America lies in the southern hemisphere. Andes. It is the world's longest mountain range. I hope many of you are already aware about it. This runs in South America. All right, end to end, north to south. And the Amazon, the world's largest river, Amazon, right? It runs in South America. The river with the jungle, as we call it, right? It runs in South America, the Amazon. Who can forget Amazon nowadays? No one, you know, is there who does not use Amazon, right? Now coming back. Ridhima, many more happy returns of the day. Hi Kanak, hello, how are you? Shyam Pandey, no idea beta, I have to check. May God bless you Ridhima. Hi Avni, hi Tushar, yes I do know you. Okay, coming back to Australia. Guys, when I am teaching, I might, not miss, I might miss your chat. I will come back and look at them, don't worry. So, Australia, smallest continent, alright, and it is there completely in the southern hemisphere and uh, Australia is like an island, surrounded by, on all sides, by oceans and seas. So, that is why it is called as an island continent, Australia. Cool? Antarctica, so we know that Antarctica runs through a pole, alright, the south pole is almost in the center of Antarctica, that's why it is... It is not even a, you know a place guys, it's a complete uh, mass of ice, that's how I would put it. So it is complete mass of ice sheets, Antarctica. So there are no people who permanently live there, but a lot of research stations are there in Antarctica. Even for India, uh, we have research stations called as Maitri and Dakshin Gangotri. Maitri and Dakshin Gangotri, these are two research stations which are there on behalf of India in the, you know, Antarctic region. Cool, exciting, is it not? Awesome. Ritwik, many more happy returns of the day. God bless you. <coughs> Pankaj juices, 80 shop. Hmm. All right. Awesome. Guys, there are a lot of you celebrating your birthdays today. God bless all of you. Enjoy your birthday. Have a blast. Keep a very clear goal on what you want to become. As simple as that. Cool? Moving on. Now it's time to learn about hydrosphere. So we all know what is hydrosphere. The zone of the earth which is covered by water. And more than 70% of the earth is covered by water. And you call that as hydrosphere. So, 29% <clears throat> is with land. So, it consists of water in all its forms. Running water, alright, is there in oceans and rivers and in lakes. Ice is there in glaciers because water is present in different forms. So, ice is present in underground water, water vapor in the atmosphere. So, water is present in all forms, multiple forms. Okay? So, we have running water, we have fresh water, we have water vapor together. Put together, we call it as the hydrosphere. Correct? <coughs> awesome. Guys, is everyone clear what is hydrosphere? <coughs> Give me a yo. Yeah, yes, yes. Uh, Kya Maharaj, I am also wondering the same. So many people are celebrating their birthdays, right? Special day, guys. Enjoy. Where is the treat? Awesome. Jasmine Emmanuel, welcome to Vedanta Young Wonders Beta. Thank you. Alright, moving on. So 97, guys, one thing you have to remember. 97% of Earth's water is unusable because it is from oceans and it is saline, too salty more than 97 percent so only three percent is usable so a large proportion of the rest of water is there 
as ice sheets with the, which is again not use, usable glaciers and under the ground so not usable at all okay only a very small portion of water which is present there as fresh water in rivers etc are usable so despite earth being a blue planet we still have shortage of water is it not there is water crisis everywhere scarcity of water so many places why earth is a blue planet the problem is 97% more than that is unusable because it's in ocean or in glaciers underground etc <coughs> yeah i hope everyone got this point <coughs> Now coming to oceans. Wow, look at that picture guys. Isn't it lovely? Lovely pic, right? Beautifully animated GIF. So ocean forms the major part of the hydrosphere. And all the oceans are interconnected. They are, you know the major difference is ocean do not have a shore on one side. So ocean waters always have currents. That is they are always moving. And what are the term movement? There are three chief movements in oceans. one is waves we all know what are waves we all know what are tides <coughs> and ocean currents so three chief movements are there waves tides ocean currents cool so is this clear for all of you Yeah. Any questions? Guys, so uh, if you look at it the the up up and down movement right of the ocean you call them as tides there are many of you who are asking what are tides is it not yeah okay see uh, guys once again i repeat there are three chief movements of uh, in oceans waves tides and currents waves are you know waves are nothing but the movement of water all right it need not be horizontal you know it can be any any kind of movement you call them waves but the vertical movement of water you are right there is there are two types of movement one is vertical one is horizontal right the vertical movement of water is called tides up and down vertical all right and movement of water as per the direction of the wind right you call them as currents the water particles move and are controlled many a time by the direction of the wind you call them as currents ocean currents clear all of you is everyone clear with this okay uh, heba with respect to the title domains of the earth domains are nothing but divisions what is it divided what is it made of okay that's that is the implication that's how you should look at it super vasuki i think i explained it again are you clear beta ocean forms the major part of the hydrosphere almost 97% right all the oceans are interconnected and ocean waters they don't stop they are all the time moving and what kind of movement three types of movement are there waves all right waves are any kind of movement generally horizontal as well the vertical movements high tide low tide as we call it that is called they are called tides and current is the direction of the ocean water based on the wind you call that as ocean currents clear now guys can i move on give me a you <clears throat> Super. 
awesome now there are five types of oceans i'll not spend a lot of time there because it would become a little monotonous pacific ocean atlantic ocean arctic ocean indian ocean and all right one more pacific ocean all right southern so now coming back pacific ocean the largest ocean in the world spread over almost one third of the earth is pacific ocean mariana trench remember we discussed yesterday that's the deepest part of the earth it lies here in the ocean i have more than 11000 meters deep what 11 kilometers deep mariana trench it's in the pacific ocean and pacific ocean generally you look at it it is more if you look at the picture it's kind of circular and australia asia north and south america they are surrounded all right surrounded by the pacific pacific ocean is surrounded by it clear this is about pacific ocean pacific means peace rani kumar thank you good i like that so second atlantic ocean is the second largest ocean in the world atlantic ocean is more like an yes look at the picture again it's like an yes if not exactly it's like an yes okay s shaped <clears throat> and north and south america runs on one side on the western side europe and africa on the eastern side you can see that right left side you see you have north and south america the other side you have europe and uh, what do you call africa so and uh, see its coastline is so ideal for harbors harbors and ports okay and pacific ocean or the atlantic ocean is one of the busiest ocean because a lot of transport happens in atlantic ocean i repeat atlantic ocean is one of the busiest ocean because a lot of transport happens here clear <coughs> okay indian ocean indian ocean is the only ocean named after a country take pride in it guys and number 2 it is more triangular in shape right indian ocean is more triangular in shape and uh, it you have asia okay and africa on one side and in the east you have australia guys are you clear till this now the arctic ocean arctic ocean is pretty simple it is uh, located inside the arctic circle surrounded by north pole okay and uh, uh, see generally guys it's more than an ocean it is like a mass of water a, a stone of water so connected by pacific ocean all right and uh, by through a narrow stretch of shallow water stretch you call it as bering strait the arctic ocean is connected with the pacific ocean through bering strait so and the third part bounded by north coast of north america and eurasia so arctic ocean one side it is boundary the boundary is the north america the north coast of north america and eurasia europe and asia guys i hope you are clear shall we move on starting menti ready all of you looks like everyone is ready so guys just one quick word about southern ocean it encircles the continent of antarctica okay and extends towards the north to 60 degrees south latitude cool guys all of you go to your mobile you know browser open a new browser window and go to www.menti.com n e n t i oh kartik you are still in london okay <clears throat> and once you go to menti.com it will ask you for a quiz code the code for today's menti is 9484296 I repeat nine four eight four two nine six.
come on come on come on see a lot of water these a lot of water desalination plants are there but the problem is uh, uh, mo most of them you know they try doing it on a scale we are not able to do it our consumption is so high so much water cannot be desalinated see if you look at uh, what do you say middle east middle east countries they use desalinated uh, water only ocean water only they purify and use but it's very very costly all of you know that water is costlier than petrol there right it's like that okay guys 30 seconds i'm going to start the first question be ready <coughs> hi anjani i am fine kanak yadav Isha Hi Isha All right guys so it's time let's start Here we go starting a quiz Question number 1 on your screens now Why do humans not use ocean water? We just spoke about it. Why? Too sour, too salty, too sweet. All of these. Ocean water is not usable because of what? Time is running. salty right saline well most all of you got it beautiful so after the first question pratham is back wow itisha johnny clippy and dc top 5 ted sandhu venetia montana thinky 6 7 8 9 question number 2 on your screens now so and the question is what links north america to south america super Let me see if you remember. I am sure you will. Isthmus of Panama, Bering Strait, Park Strait, Suez Canal. Redima Jain. The code is nine four eight four two nine six. Time is running. Time is running, guys. Come on, be ready. Time is up. Isthmus of Panama, beautiful. So two questions are done. Five more to go, and the leaderboard says Pratham is still at the top, followed by Venetia, Nivedan, Ankit, and Agrani. Top five. So question number three on your screens now. <coughs> Pacific Ocean is dash in shape, circular, S-shaped, triangular, none of these. Almost, I am giving you a clue. Almost. Guys, almost circle and shape. Remember, I showed you. It is almost circular. That's why I gave you that clue. Three questions are done. And where are you guys, Mr. Pratham Agarwal? Looks like you are still at the top. Wow, good. Pratham, Venetia, Sri Ram, Ojesh, and Zoya. Top five. Saptajit, Mitrava, Aryan, Agrani, and Tanishk. Six to ten. 
and question number four just three more to go and the fourth question is how many oceans are there in the world how many oceans are there in the world two five three seven Five. How many of you chose five? I don't know how many how people chose seven. Hmm. So Pratam Wow. Good lead. Followed by Venetia, Sri Ram, Ojesh, and Saptajit. Zoya, Grani, Tanish, Karyan, and Anushka. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Guys, question five, two more to go. What is that fifth question? Let us check it out. Which of the following is not a continent? This is not a continent. Which is it? Europe, India, Australia, Africa. One is not a continent. Can I ask you a simpler question than this? Wow, India, is it a continent? We are a country which belongs to the continent Asia, right? Pratham, wow, Pratham, Vishnu, Tanishk, Ojesh and Aditya, top 5. <clears throat> Lucky, Twito, Rahul, Anushka, Venetia, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Question 6, one more to go. Which one of the following is the largest continent? South America, Asia, North America, Africa. South America, largest continent. Asia, North America, Africa. Sovendra, hi, 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 how are you? Sorry, beta, I'm taking, right? When uh, During that time, I can't see the chats. Asia, wow, good. Almost all of you got it. So, after six questions. Mr. Pratham, where are you? Yeah, he's at the top. Followed by Sriram, Tanishk, Lucky and Aditya, top five. Ojesh, Tweeto, Rahul, Venetia and Anushka, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, the final question for this session. Guys, we have a very interesting crisp session at 8 p.m. The difference between present simple and present continuous. All right, it will just be a 5-10 minute of session and followed by a lovely mentee. Don't miss to join me at 8 p.m. 7 o'clock. All right, oh, I'm sorry. Seventh question. Here we go. Which line passes through Europe? Tropic of Cancer, Antarctic Circle, Tropic of Capricorn, Arctic Circle. Europe, Europe, Europe. Hmm. Arctic Circle passes through Europe. Oh, oh, many of you got it wrong. 46 of you. Is it going to change the leaderboard? Not really. Everyone in the leaderboard got it right. Beautiful. Guys, looks like Pratham is a clean winner today. Well done, Pratham. Keep it up. Great job done. So, Bhavya, Venetia, Shem, Rai. Okay, I don't know full name. 
Nidu, top five. Good job done. Congratulations, guys, all of you. Aryan, Priyan, Suyas, Naivedya, and Ribu. Amazing job done. You guys made it to the leaderboard today. Keep it up. Guys, there could be a few of you who could not make it to the leaderboard, but you still got right answers. Kudos. Keep it up. That's okay. Keep trying. You will get it. Guys, I hope the session was crisp and informative. You enjoyed it. Hit the like button and let me know you liked it. And yes, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much, guys. It was lovely, lovely interacting with you. 8 p.m. I'll see you with a lovely session to differentiate simple present, present continuous. Yes, ready? Thank you so much, guys. I will see you at 8. Bye-bye. Take care.